Okay, so today we're going to go through my modification of my mask to accommodate a GoPro Hero 3. What you see in the picture here is everything that came in the box, basically, um, including my stock mask. Uh, this is a Rife Nida, Nida, Nadia, whatever you want to call it, uh, free dive mask. Uh, all I've done was, if you pop off the little top nose bridge piece, this says Rife, comes off, there's just these two little tabs on it, you can see right there. Just pop that off. Place it aside, comes off real easily. What you'll see next is a flat head slotted screw in the top and a square Phillips screw in the bottom. It's not actually a screw, it's uh, one of these uh, slotted receiver things. If we can do this one handed, but basically you'll see it screws together like that. This is just about impossible to find, so I went with the next best option. So what I found at Lowe's was um, a, an oval-headed uh, Phillips screw, like so. It looks like that. And uh, just a couple of knurled nuts. Uh, these are 6 by 32. Um, the screws are inch and a half long. So, so far, all I've done was... I uh, put the uh, Phillips screw through the bottom, uh, put the neural nut on the top, and now I'm going to try to find a way to uh, uh, use some of the GoPro mounts to attach to it. Okay, so starting with the uh, all the hardware that was included in my GoPro kit, just a standard uh, Hero 3 Black Edition. Um, that's Everything you see here is pretty much what came in the box with the exception of the uh, remote and so on. Um, my local dive shop here in Panama City suggested that you take the original uh, mounting bracket that uh, would have had, it, had the GoPro mounted on top of the box and you modify it. So what you'll see in the bottom is it has uh, three holes for uh, three screws. So if you take those out, um, you'll end up with this. Okay, so having removed all the screws from the GoPro uh, just display box mount, you end up with a nice little groovy uh, curved attachment. Looks a lot like, um, well, looks not like a, much like anything, but it's pretty darn handy. So one of the things, I'm, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try and take one of these uh, three holes on the bottom and I'll go ahead and uh, drill it out and try to mount it to that right there. So let's see where we come up with, with that. Okay. Uh, what we have here is basically the finished product. Um, um, so far I have taken the this mounting bracket and I cut it back. I drilled a hole in it. I want to say the hole was 5 30 seconds. Uh, I used a 5 30 second drill bit. Uh, drilled the hole. Made a few mistakes. Um, just just make the make the hole as big as you need. I mean just even though the 5 30 seconds is much bigger than the uh, you know, this little 6 30 seconds or whatever it is, the screw I have, uh, even though it's bigger than that, uh, make it bigger and don't goof around with it. Also, where I made a mistake was I cut it way too short. You can see how the screw is basically right at the edge. In fact, there's not very much plastic between the screw and... Um, in the edge of the plastic. So I would have left it a little bit longer. Uh, you live and learn. Um, maybe I can find another one of these mounts somewhere and, uh, and redo this. So, um, but that's basically it. Here you have it. I'll go ahead and take another picture with the uh, camera mounted and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Uh, here, here you go with the uh, camera mounted. Um, yeah, I've got the nice little floaty back door, which I've heard good and bad things of uh, you know, depth it really doesn't uh, do a whole lot. I might keep it a, a, afloat if it floats on the surface but with the weight of the mask who knows if it'll uh, even do anything. So uh, that's it. Uh, a couple of other things I noticed uh, just based on the way I um, the way everything's kind of loose and and the way I cut my drilled my hole at a little bit of an angle the camera is probably technically not exactly level. 
Uh, they, you also get a lot of play in here. Uh, so um, even though you tighten it up, you, I get I get some left right play. So but I can uh, I can tighten up those two knurled nuts there and uh, and take some of that play out. Also, the other thing to point out is I went ahead and used the uh, the longest of the um, of these pieces. So uh, by using a longer one, it's it's out of the way right here, and it doesn't uh, it doesn't give me any problems. The other ones were, were a little difficult to uh, to attach. So and there you have it. Uh, I'm really curious to see how it works out, and I may uh, I think I'm gonna go try it out tomorrow morning. Hopefully it's worked out for you. Um, if there's anything I can do, shoot me an email, leave a comment or something like that. I'd be happy to help. Uh, like I said, the only two pieces were there, this Hillman 632nd by inch and a half, a couple of knurled nuts. I uh, went ahead and I bought a couple of rubber washers, nylon washers, just in case. Um, all said, the... Um, I don't know, we're probably we're talking probably less than five bucks worth of uh, materials. So, uh, good luck, happy diving.